Hello everybody. Back to the Rowena documentation project. Decided to take a slightly different tack tonight. I'm actually walking from the part of Rowena which is not on the road diet. This is a part that runs by, uh, by the reservoir park and uh, walking toward Hyperion. And that is because I'm interested in seeing how this intersection actually works here. So, do notice the number of people on the street. Um, and the traffic is pretty heavy. It is not very heavy though on the part of Rowena that actually has the road done. So let's take a look at what this Hyperion has in store. It does look like we have quite a backup. It's running all the way down the street, uh, clear past Griffith Park Boulevard. And uh, part of the problem is that actually Trader Joe's is there. And uh, there are a lot of people pulling in and out of the Trader Joe's parking lot all the time. So it seems to impede traffic. It wouldn't change much on the Rowena Road Diet part though. And that is because there is one lane going into the one lane that is available on the diet. So uh, increasing that to two lanes isn't really going to do too much. What you can see here also though is, is a preview of what the road diet would look like when it was removed. So if the city were to remove the road diet, you would have cars creeping right up against the sidewalk within a couple feet of, of a restaurant where a lot of people eat, sidewalk where a lot of people walk, and uh, you'd be experiencing actually some, some real fear, I think. So let's just come down here a little bit. See a jogger. It's a beautiful evening out. A little bit later tonight, probably about 7, 10 p.m. Instead of my usual 6 or 6.30. I still call this rush hour in LA. But uh, once again, even inside or outside rush hour, and this is a Thursday evening. It's one of the most crowded traffic days of the week. Some people say Thursdays are actually worse than Mondays or Fridays. Um, and I'm looking down here, and I actually do not see much congestion at all. I don't see the bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic that has been alleged to have been taking place at all hours, nor do I see the... Uh, the actual backup that might cause people to turn off of this road and go onto side streets. We're not seeing anybody turn up the street to go, oh wow, look at how fast that guy's going. Really burning it up. Probably got a good 50 miles per hour there. I don't see, see somebody making a right there. I don't see a steady stream of cars turning up toward Waverly though. Waverly Terrace that is. And uh, as I turn around on the street, you can see there's an apartment here. Uh, there's a rest home right there. I just walked by it. Apartments on the other side of the road. Another set of apartments. This is another rest home here. The new townhomes are up ahead. What's a little bit deceptive about Rowena is that the lots are really, really deep. So when you do see some commercial buildings, there are actual residences behind those commercial buildings. For instance, behind City Acupuncture is what I believe is a residence where somebody lives. There's a little bungalow court. It's been here for years. It's beautiful. Nice artwork on the outside. There's a bicyclist. So the street's alive. And uh, it's a happy place right now. And I guess I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning when we uh, take another stroll along this supposedly but actually not congested part of Rowena. Thanks again. Catch you then.